So what is good everybody, it's your boy Slint, AKA Mr. Different, back with another video. And today is a long requested question that I keep getting asked on this YouTube channel over and over and over again. And that is how to record your DAW and stream it with your ASIO drivers. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do all that absolutely free. Now, before we get to the video, the reason I'm making this video, cause a lot of you guys keep asking this in every single video all the time. I made an old video about it and you know, it's just old and outdated. So damn, I'll show you guys how to do it today. And it's got absolutely free. You don't need to buy nothing, two pieces of software. I'm gonna show you how to set up and everything. And also this only works for Windows. As I know, I don't think it works for um, Mac. Sorry, if you want somebody to teach you how to do it on Mac, find somebody who uses Mac. I'm a Windows uh, user, so it is what it is. So let's jump right to it. Let's get into this video and finally knock this out the way. Cause you guys been asking for it. Here we are, so FL Studio. Now, before we go into FL Studio, I'm gonna show you the two pieces of software that you need to actually do this. Now, I use OBS and also I use something called Azio Link. Now, currently, well, currently, well, always, OBS has always been free. So OBS, Open Broadcast Software Studio, that's the version I use. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below. This is the software that I use to record my DAW to stream all that. It's basically a streaming ca game capture, video capture um, program, absolutely free. You don't need to pay enough for it. You should know about it. Download it. They got Windows, Mac, and Linux, but like I said, this one well, I'm a teacher could only work on Windows, so yeah, it is what it is, but hey, at least you can use it on Mac and Linux if you need to. Now, the next piece of software that you need is called ASIO Link. Now, unfortunately, the guy who made ASIO Link passed away a couple years ago, but his nephew released the um, Apache for it to make it completely free. I don't think they're gonna do any more updates to it. It's stuck at version 2.4. Um, so it is what it is, but I've been using it since it came out. I actually bought it when it first came out for like 30 bucks a long time ago when it first was announced. And you know, now I have this version, this version I've been using. So I'm gonna be using this exact same version for you guys. It's the fully fledged pro version and yeah, it works good. So just go to this download link. You got the download link right here and then you also have the patcher as well and the 64 bit and the uh, 32 bit patch as well, but you can just get the combined one just, and there you go. So yeah pretty much simple so once you do that just download it install it just run through and install it use the patcher after you install it completely close it before you open it and install it i'm not doing all that how to install stuff follow the instructions you should be good and then just crack uh, patch it it should be cracked so there you go so now let's go ahead and get um, the DAW set up for recording and also get OBS set up for recording. So the first thing is that you wanna do is go to your audio settings inside of FL Studio or any DAW that you're using. I'm using FL Studio and you'll make sure you have the ASIO Link Pro set up. Now, when you do that, let me just go ahead and switch it real quick. And then, matter of fact, I wanna switch, let me just bring it up. Okay, once you bring it up, it's gonna look like this. Well, it's not gonna look exactly like this, but once you have it cracked, it's gonna have the GA Collector 2018. That should mean it's cracked, all that should be good. So first you gotta pick a driver. So you go to driver and you pick your ASIO driver. That's whatever driver you use for your graphics card, I'm um, a graphics card, your um, audio uh, interface. So if you have a Focusrite, pick the Focusrite. I got a Persona, pick Persona. If you got an Apollo, use UAD, so on and so forth, and just click your drivers. Okay, so that's the first step. You gotta do that first. Once you do that, you're pretty much set. Now you can set your buffer size by going to your um, control panels, all that good stuff. Let's like say this is my control panel. If I need to change my buffer size, it'll do that. And it'll automatically update itself inside of um, the ASIO link. So if I Yo, do that extra stuff right there, but I should be good. Let's like say the automatic update, so you don't have to worry about nothing. So that's good right there. So we're good on the DAW side. Just make sure you got ASIO link, and you make sure your driver's selected and you're good to go. Now, let's go ahead and bring OBS now. Here's my OBS and yes, it's inception right here going on, but that's okay. So how do we set up OBS? So first we need to go to the settings. Now this is important. So we go to settings and then we go to audio. Now I'm not gonna teach you how to set up it for streaming and all that. There's plenty of videos out there just to show you how you can record your software. So in order for this to work, basically what ASIO Link is doing, it is taking the audio from your DAW and it's rerouting it through a microphone input in OBS. That's all it's doing. It's cause, um, the ASIO drivers can't work the same, can't work at the same time as um, the system drivers and blah, blah, blah. But this is a workaround. It pretty much just takes the audio from your interface or your DAW and reroutes it to your microphone. So all you need to do is you can disable desktop audio and desktop audio too, unless you want to have like if you're on YouTube or something like that, and you're doing a stream or whatever, you want to play the music through YouTube and all that, or emails and all that, then, you know, just pick that a default or whatever. But I got disabled. Now your first microphone audio input would be your main microphone. So this is my SM7B. That's my main microphone. It was good to go. I ain't got to set it up. Now for your second mic microphone input, you want to make sure you pick mix zero one 
uh, as your link drivers. That's all you need to do. What that means is it's going to take, let's say, the audio from the DAW and reroute it through the microphone input of as your link of uh yeah through as your link into obs that way it will record it so i'm gonna show you that it works like that now hit okay you're good on that one thing i like to do is if you go right here you go to like the little cog icon go to advanced audio preferences you want to make sure that you have i like to do this i like to make my main uh my my main microphone mono so just click mono um leave the stereo the second one as your link and then i like to make this i like to do like this right here now this is if you're going to record multiple audio tracks i'm not showing you how to set that up i made a video about that but if you want to use multiple audio tracks i always do it like this where it records one and two is i do one both check for um my streaming when i'm streaming and i choose two uh select for the microphone and three select for the audio inter for the asio link that way when i bring it into my editing software i have two separate tracks one audio on my microphone and one audio on my daw that way you can do some mixing that way but that's me but i'm not going to go into too much detail on how to do that there's videos out there about how to use multiple inputs and outputs inside of OBS. So watch those videos. So now that's set up we're all good like i said as you see my microphone is being selected right here and if i select a snare Oh wait, let me make it. Let's see if we can. I want to be you guys to be able to see OBS when I do this. Let's see if I can. Let me just matter of fact, we'll just make a little snare pattern, just to prove that it works. So if I just do like this, <laughs> you know, that's gonna sound bad. Now when I hit play, OBS should you know pick it up the sound up. And that's really all there is to it. Now you're good. Now when you hit record and all that, you're good. It'll record your system audio from your DAW, your microphone recorded, it being a separate channel if you set it up that way. And you're good to go. That's all you need to do. It's that simple, that easy. All links will be in the description below. You can download OBS and ASIO link for free. And yeah, get started. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy like always. Like I said, this is just a quick little video, not no full in-depth video. I made a previous one. You can check that if you wanna go more in-depth. I'll put a link in the description below or at the top somewhere where you can check that. But there's plenty of videos about OBS and yeah, there you go. So that's how I record and stream my DAW absolutely free. Yeah on windows so with that being said y'all know who it is your boy slint aka mr different your favorite nappy headed producer not motivated by the money but the like comment subscribe and views and with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed always any more questions leave them in the description below i'll try to get to them as soon as i can and yeah i'm out y'all have a good one yeah